I led many expeditions into the heartland of the Guyanas. And one of the things that struck me was that many members of the crew were oblivious of the great voyages that had occurred, that had, in a sense, deposited them in the Americas. The voyage has immense value because the voyage has within it something, I would say, that is divine. The voyage is always an exploration. It's a seeking. It's a searching. It's a quest for value. Now, that quest may be overlaid by all sorts of matters to do with greed and lust and violence. But under that, that value remains. Legba is really an African god. But one notes that he has a lame leg. So he's vulnerable. On the other hand, he's a god. He's divine. Now, this is nothing new. One sees it with the Christian faith. Christ, the crucified Christ, is vulnerable, yet the son of God. So we have Legba, vulnerable, yet divine. And on top of that, Kofi, who is the rebel, the black rebel who fought in South America. That complex of forces is obviously a complex that is explosive. <laughs> We have come to a very serious time in our history in which we have to ask ourselves whether the direction we are pursuing is wrong, whether the sails we have put up under which we move are oriented to the wrong trend, the wrong wind, the wrong tide, whether we have to turn and go in a different direction, completely different direction. The questions we have to ask ourselves about nature Nature ails. If one looks, for example, at the, the fantastic films of outer space, which are simulated, what do you see? You see meteors striking planets, gouging out great bits of planets, causing explosions as if those planets, planets are vomiting, they're ill. There is an ailment running through nature, and we have to see that all of us, in some degree, have caught the virus 